like as ilikuwa na doku liko pusi napata as shot moja ni tao lakini pusi shot moja ni so mbili tu chwani so tatu so ine punch depending na vile mdemo anakaa kama mdemo ni kwa issue guli uanze pia ku kuuza pusi yake na since tuko na room mbili uanze kuuza pusi yake tuna una make money na mimi na bado na make money na ye hapo niko stranded niko zile za eh sasa juu niko hapa niko stranded nilikuwa nishambiwa juu kwa kampuni nikirudi huko wanaweza wanaweza nibambisha na waende waseme nilihepa na alikuwa ananiambia ukihepa ukikemboi so watu wenye wako 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 hizo arab countries wenye 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 yuko kwa kampuni wanaenda goma kemboi eh kukemboi ni kuhepa si unajua kukemboi ina nini ina, 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 ina na hiyo kukimbia Eh, so me hepa. So mimi nilikuwa nilikuwa hizo za nilikuwa hizo za na jeni kurudi kwa kampuni wanibambishe wani, waniende ni kwanza nifungwe. Ah mm-hmm. on the other hand pia nilikuwa najua nikishiki huko hivyo nje since kuko huko nje wale washaandikisha nimehepa niko in circulation mm-hmm. bado pia ninaoma. So niko hapo niko na stress niko zile za wa. Nikirudi huko ninaoma nikikaa hapa ninaoma. Niko njaa nda dunini. So size life imesha ni humble hadi nimechanganyikiwa hadi nimekaa chini. So hizo hizo nimekaa chini hivi kwa street. Ni kitu ni kitu 5. So tumebakisha kitu kama 2 hours giza ingie. So niko zile za eh hata giza ikiingia we ndo jisunda wapi? Nisha zaribu hadi kutafuta wale penye ndo jisunda ni lale. No, na yeye ni chanza kujitarisha kuishia maisha street since niko stranded. But kitu ndaniambiaje? California mtu mjanja. Endo ndandie meli. Unaona juu kulikuwa gana port ilikuwa gapo kitu ni enda unyemere meli magizani unje kwa meli itakupeleka wapi Kenya sasa hizo mimi najiambiaje at Mombasa is the biggest port in East Africa kwa hivyo meli zote zinaenda ga Mombasa port eh so me mimi na kitu ni niambia ndio ndiye meli wingi eh lakini tena naogopa naona meli inaweza nipeleka Hong Kong unaona sasa hizo na Hong Kong Ana meli eh, ana meli na zanipeleka Hong Kong. Kama inipeleke Vietnam, mimi ndio nipate huko ma, ma, ma Vietnamese na ma, na ma Vietcom eh. Onishambulie. Unaona? That is sasa nilikuwa gana ma, na ma kili kibao zinanisumbua. Ah, unaona naweza panda meli nipeleke wapi? Mm. Na wewe ni zapitia Somalia kidnapiwe. Unaona meli sipo. Unaona? Na fadhali nitulietulia hapa kitu kama siku mbili. Nini ngoje meli imeandiko Kenya na ndio hiyo meli sasa unaona? Mm-hmm. Soka nimetulia hapo kuna mdem nilikuwa nimechinjia anga kitambo FB. Mm-hmm. <coughs> Uo mdem sasa kumbe kumbe mdem nikimchinjia nilimchinjia anga kitambo FB tukiwa Kenya. Kumbe pia aliye na Qatar na mimi sijui. Mm-hmm. Na mimi niko eh yes. so so pia so tumekuwa tukiongea tumekuwa tukiongea and uh, and nikamtumia anga picha yeye akanitumia anga picha hizo zo, so tukaachiaga hapo tukumalizia akuingia box na mimi sikumpasu ah aliingia anga box lakini sikumpasu father nika nikachorea since nilikuwa na mademu wengi so nilikuwa guys hizo za kuchinjia ingia box na kuchorea nikikuingia hizo za na try sa kujiprove unaona eh hizo za pia wameingia box next mm-hmm. on to the next one hivyo So mdema kingia box mimi naingia mitini. So pia alikuwa ameingia anga box. Nikamchorea. So ika happen hiyo time amepita na taxi. Sure hivi taxi imepita. Mimi niko hapo kwa barabara niko hivi niko lonely, stranded, na stress. Mm. Na mimi ama mother nitumie. Antumie 3000. 3000 za Kenya zikikuja huku zinakuwa 30 bob. Ama nitumie 30 bob. Mm-hmm. na dati bomba kula siku ngapi na yeye atakuwa ameenda hasara jodrike ni mingi Kenya huku ni upuzi mm. mm. ama basi afanyaje ama nitumie 10k at least zikuwe zikuwe 500 eh naona 10k to 500 bado naona ni upuzi mm eh ndio nilikuwa nanga taxi imepita imeenda imeru imerudi hivi na rivers kurudi hivi na rivers mdema ameshuka sasa mimi hadi simuoni macho zangu ndio ni kama saa zioni Eh, yeah. so niko tu hivi naona lakini sioni. Mdema ameshuka, amekuja demesa mama hivi mbele yangu ndio nilimuona. Eh. Yeah. <coughs> Anambe, hey, Kalif, eh, hey, vipi? Na mimi niko zile za ndio sana nimeanza tena zile zangu. <laughs> Nimeamka, mm, fiti. Eh. Hey. 
Rada ni gani? Nikamwambia yeye naona umetulia hapa situenda hivi. Nikamwambia sawa ina mambo twende. Tukaingia kwa hiyo taxi yake. Tukaenda. Kumbe sasa si hizo za sitaki kumwambia niko stranded. Sitaki ku as in sitaki kumbodha na anything. So hizo za tumeenda. Um tumeenda na yeye, tumeenda tu as in tumeenda hiyo taxi imeenda imeingia kwa hoteli. Unaona niko like hey kuna kuna mzigo za nyama kuja ku drop huko tumeingia kwa hoteli unaona hizi hoteli bigi bigi venye dinge naingia hivi hapo nje watu wanafungua mlango so mlango ikafunguliwa niko zile za eh huko ni ame ame huko ni amejua mimi natafuta na masansi ameshafungua di mlango niko zile za naifunga unaona amefungua ameshanifanyia hivi eh mdema kanambia shuka tushuke nikamwambia wewe wewe shuko shukisha mzigo twende unaona wewe shuko shukisha mzigo twende kanambia hapana tushuke ambia oh sawa 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 tukashuka alikuwa na mashopping tukazibeba sasa sitaki yule chalia zibebe unaona ngozileza wewe wacha nibebe mzigo unaona ndio masansi wake tokea nijifanye mimi nilikuwa na mzigo nipite hivi wasinione so mimi nimekataa na mzigo kanambia hata hata kitusaidiwe ambia hapana acha nibebe mimi i'm a gentleman yeah i got it so tukaenda tukapita kwa reception hivi reception hiyo hoteli sasa kwa lobby so ki reception ni kibigi niko zile za wa rada ni gani unaona kuna watu wengi hapo hivyo kuna mademo kwa hapo hivyo wengine wanaongea na simu mwingine anaandika yani hiyo reception ni bigi iko hivi bigi unaona mm alafu sasa kuna masako ukuta nyuma hiyo reception hapo malipo nyuma amesimama mmoja imeandikwa Tokyo mwingine imeandikwa sijui London mwingine imeandikwa USA yani masaa hizo masaa ziko hapo nyuma mwingine imeandikwa Nairobi unaona eh niko zile za wewe ni mambo ya movie tumaliza haraka haraka tutoke huku unaona <laughs> twende huko tuchapiana na mikenya na niambie nirudi nikamedile mambo yangu yenye nilikuwa na medi venye nitapanda meli ama venye ama venye ndaitisha ganje nitumie kwanza ni nini ni, ni, ni mange unaona <laughs> juu niko nja we <clears throat> tukaenda hivyo before hata nijue unajua sana nimengedi hadi simu mimi natembea tu sioni hadi kwenye tunaenda tushafika kwa lift tukaingia kwa lift eh hey, mimi nimestuka hadi simu ongeleshe sana nimeshika tu hivi mamzigo hadi nime nimenyamaza nime mute lift kaenda hadi eighth floor tukashuka eighth floor kukoga na pathway pathway imenyamaza kuna milango tu peke yake na red carpet tukaenda akafungua hata akafungua ali swipe kalia titit kafunguka yeye hui ninaangalia juma na huyo amenipeleka kwa FBI aina noma aina noma mimi nimeti nyi fanya ni vile samu nataka nime give up tukaingia akafunga akaeka handbag chini akanembecha niingie shawa wetu wetu lia tulia hapo feel free eh niko like hmm? umenitoa kwa street nje umenileta hapa uko sawa ama nisha cheese you know na niko hizo za ama nisha cheese niko hizo za eh ndina guza guza kiti na guza guza huko meza na guza guza vitu ndio at least ni niamini because hata kule best yangu kwenye nilikuwa nimetoka jua stress hadi nilikuwa nimeacha kuoga eh <laughs> unaye amenitoka kwa street nimekaa chini nimejaa vumbi kwa haga nikaa zioni unaye amenileta kwa, kwa hotel room unaona hizo na na ni 5 star ha akaniambia mimi naingia shower but kuna hiyo bedroom nyingine iko hapo ingia pia kwa hiyo kwa hiyo bedroom uoge unaona since unaka uko act up nikamwambia sawa nikaingia nikaoga nikatoka nikava nikava nguo zingine zilikuwa hapo hivyo kwa kabati. Alafu akaniambia change uva hizo nguo ziko hapo. Alafu hizo zako nitakuja niku nikupeanie kwa laundry. Sasa mtu alikuwa ametumona god. Unaona hiyo mambo vile sasa imeanza ku happen. Mimi nguo zangu zipeano kwa laundry. Sawa mimi ama nani? Niko like sawa. Okay. Aya aka akachukua hizo nguo. As in mimi nimeenda nimeoga, hizo nguo nimezitoa. Amezichukua, amezipeana. Mimi sana niko na hizi. Ameniambia, uweze kana na hizo. Akanitolea sana nguo zake, akanipe joga na tisho. So that means siendi. Si hata ndivyo kuna kuonekana. Siendi, wapo tunalala huku. Haya. <coughs> Simi nika, nikachukua joga na nikachukua tisho nikazivaa. Sasa tumetulia hapo na yeye anza kuchapiana nimbe kali fia ni ulinchinji anga alafu nikaingia box alafu kaninyamazia kamwambia sina ubaya ni nilipoka busy ni nini hizo hizo za bado na display ka picha kaingine kayuko 
Wewe unajifanya ule msee. Niko like lakini usijali. Juice hii niko hapa. Rada safi. Ni vile yani tu sikuwa nataka ni quest. Na hiyo time nilikuwa gana mambo mingi mingi sana nilikuwa nataka nimalizane nazo alafu ndio nikianzana na wewe twende nyue. Kaniambia sawa basi. <coughs> Akaniambia lakini kuna client ana kam. Kwa hivyo utaenda utulie kwa bedroom yako. Alafu ukitoka ndaka mni kui ni kuita nikamuliza bedroom yangu ni gani akaniambia huko kwenye umaogea unaona um, sasa niko na bedroom yangu unaona <laughs> sasa mimi nimeanza kusahau zile mashida zile nilikuwa nazo mm sasa hapa at this point umekula bado sijakula mimi nimeoga nimekuja nimepewa nguo na tumekuja tumetulia hapa kidogo hadi sasa nilieta kusikia njaa kama nimeogea kwa kwa, kwa bafu ya kio imezunguka hivi na kio hivi round Unaona sabuni iko kwa kitu kama hivi ni kama kama nishikia sabuni hivi unaona <laughs> Towel ni za white zikuwa zimepangana hivi nne bed ni big kuna nuka fiti ma window si dirisha hizi za kawa ni mapanel kidirisha unakifungua hivi eh kinafungua nyumba mzima unaona yeah so nilikuwa like nilikuwa like manzi ya disa nimeshacha kusikia njaa niko fiti so kanaambia kuna client ana kam aenda kwa room yako akam nimalizana na yeye alafu ndio ukam to the food tukule unaona tukule sapa juu it's getting late mambo <coughs> sawa so sisi mimi kwa room yangu kwenda kwa room yangu sasa hapo ndo nilianza kufikiria huyu mdem ni doki unaona huyu mdem daktari huyu kama maklant wanakuja hadi kwa room she is a doctor kama she is not a doctor she is a lawyer <coughs> yeah she doctor love mm. <coughs> So sisi mimi kwa hapo. Mimi nimeenda kwa room yangu. Kutulia hapo kidogo kidogo jo nilikuwa na stress ni kadozi. So nilikuwa najisikia the flowing day hata sikukulanga. Mhm. Mhm. Ah, wewe hapana. Siku singeza kulala. No na because everything was was so fast as in everything ilikuwa ina ina ni kama vitu zikuwa real. No na so lazima kwanza ninge karada sana. Eh. So siku lalanga. So akuja kanibishia kanimbe client ameenda so tuko order food food kaka mingi yo 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 hotel, yo hotel room yake ilikuwa gatu bedroom so ilikuwa gadi na dining table so food ime come tuko tuko hapo tuko nini tuko hapo kwa dining so tumeanza kumanga so tumeanza kumanga so ananiuliza eh hey, kalif eh ni kupata hapo kwa street ukiwa stranded fuck ni kuzeleza eh kuna ile realize ni kwa stranded kumbe nyima demu mnako garada na aliona eh hey, eh hey, sana kwa like ndamwambia nini eh hey, nataki kumwambia nilikie mboi unaona since my client anamfuata hadi kwa nyumba unaona so she is a doctor ama a lawyer na kwenda kuambia a doctor ama a lawyer umeke mboi eh hey, anaweza nifukuza hadi huku unaona yeah so liko na kupa nifukuze so kugopa nifukuze <coughs> I was like I was like nimwambie nimwambie nafanya nini tao. Nikamwambia tulikuwa tumekuja business meeting na na my company associates eh na tume have ku break. Unaona? Tumeambia na mtu aende apige pige roundi atafute hotel room yenye anaweza lala. Alali tutapata na kesho asubuhi since the business is not over. Unaona? <laughs> Sasa nimemdanganya hivyo. <coughs> So si hapo ndio <coughs> tukalala kanambia it's okay usienda kutafuta keja stay at my place utaenda ke utaenda kesho basi ama you can stay as long as you want unaona since we have a thing unaona na ulikuwa na nibamba sana eh hadi siezi mind tuki share room moja eh hey, sasa so mimi niko hizo za niko hizo za unajua 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 one thing about men I think at see about about men about everybody. I always date kama akili zako ziko hapo. I always sleep with somebody kama akili zako ziko hapo. Inakuwa ga mental, si ndio? So mimi nikamwambia for now I'll just sleep at my room because kuna phone call zenye nataka ku make na ni very personal. Akaniambia ni sawa basi but ukimaliza ku make hizo phone calls unaweza kama kwa room yangu later on unaona since for the whole of this night sina clients. Alikuwa mo open. Mhm. Na nimeambia na clients. Mimi sijui ni ma client wa gani na sikubodha kuuliza. But yeye aliniuliza nikamwambia mimi 
na hav- na kwa kampuni na mimi ni supervisor nini 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 hizo unaona nimempe stories so so the following day tukaamka miss queen as in school ndanga kwa room yake hata usiku so tukaamka the following day tumeamka poa breakfast ime come zile tu sani sani nane yani breakfast inakuja mingi sani ya maembe sani ya mandizi sani sijui ni pudding maembe as in, i mean man, i mean mandazi chapati chai kahawa yani everything imeletwa niko zile za hey, man in your life as me come to have breakfast tumeza ku have breakfast immediately menembea kona client ni nirudi kwa room yangu nimerudi ananibishia client ametoka narudi tunapiga ma story tuna catch up tunaongea tunacheka tulikuwa gana vibe na kama tulikuwa na vibe tulikuwa tumesikizana we were just good so tuko tu hapo client akikam mimi naenda lunch kifika food na kam sapa sapa ikifika food na kam client akikuja mimi naenda kwa room yangu mimi natoka so tukaenda hivyo for 3 days ndio siku moja nikaamua kumulizaje eh na mbona Mbona ama client wako usiende wakukute kwa job unaona wanakuchokesha sana kushinda wamekufuata kwa nyumba unaona ama uambie wasiku wanakuja kwako kwa nyumba wakungojange huko huko mali unafanyia nga job mpata nange na huko so hapo ndio mdema li have ku open up unaona akaniambia ama client mimi si doki na mimi si lawyer wewe wewe unakuwa unafikiria mimi mimi nauza nauza pongi unaona nauza pusi na juza wow like what eh hey. wow unaona so so what are this this was the reason hata pia bado siko na feel bado pia nataka ku spend the room the same room with her unaona because unajua sometimes ukifeel bod mwili iko off tu inaweza kuwa tu there is a reason yenyewe mwenye ujui so sometimes hata sipo ku force mambo because because yeah, alikuwa na insist kwa dose kwa kina mimi na feel siuko siuko okay with it eh hey, na feel tu niko off so kumbe iko kwa off kumbe ni ni jumdema na juza but the best part ni ati uko 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 hivyo ukedi si kama Kenya unaona because before before ukam kwenda Qatar ni ngumu sana ukuwe na nini na okay eh, as in as in uzi kama ujapimo so the only way ukedi ni ngianga Qatar ni kama hao waarabu wenyewe wameenda hizo hivyo venye wao wenda wao travel wanaenda mbali tuseme labda wameenda London wameenda huko wamepatana na ho wamefuck ho na huko London labda wame wame, wame transmit labda na huko mbali wamerudisha Qatar unaona that's the only way na ni slight unaona mm, ni ngumu sana so eh so hapo ndio mdema alinifungulia ngaro akaniambia mimi mimi ni ho na ni juza na hivi ndio kunendaga and that's how i make money na hiyo ndio pesa inalipa nini ima maisha yenye mimi naishi she was very open with me so akanifungulia ngaro akanipeleka na rada akaniambia kila kitu and bado she was still very beautiful unaona eh alikuwa gani innocent soul alikuwa gani mdem poa sana mm alikuwa tu mdem fiti but alikuwa crazy akijam so <coughs> So simi niko tu hapo nimengedhi ya nimeshtuka niko zile za wa Yaani msema na uzapusi ana stay ana stay hivi fiti Eh eh sawa So mimi nika nika have ku nini nika have ku take Okay mtu choka Kaje mtu asichoke Ah ya So Mhm. So mimi nika nika <coughs> mi yo, yo story ya siku ibeba na uzito sana since haikuwa haikuwa issue kwangu because pussy si yangu na mimi sina pussy naweza uza. So still bado hata sijasaidika na siezi ishingi hapa kwa wake. Some day lazima nda ndatoka. So bado tu niko na zile stress zangu. So ndio the following day nika nika akaniambiaje. Sasa wake alif daily unashindanga topo hivi kwangu umelala. Hata venye uliniambia ati sijui mmekuja business na kampuni yenu nilikuwa uongo mimi naona kuna story kama hiyo 
Mmm, wewe ni kama kimboi wewe. Akaniambia hivyo. Akaniambia wewe ni kama kimboi. Eh nikamwambia yeye mtu wangu yeye mimi sita kudanganya. Si ati mimi ni kimbo. Mimi ni kimbo yeye mimi nilipa kwa kampu unaona. Na nilikuwa hapo nje niko strand. Na akaniambia mbona huku niambia? Na ninge kuonesha kufundisha ku McDo. Unaona? Eh hey, ninge kuonesha kufundisha ku McDo hata sometimes nungu kuna nipeleka out. Si mimi ninge kuona kupeleka. So unaona because hizo hizo few days zenye tulikuwa tumeka na yeye alikuwa ameshaanza kunipeleka rege. Alikuwa ananipeleka kubai nguo, anabai nguo. Alikuwa ameshaanza kuniweka fine. Eh hey, mimi sijui mbona napata na madem na wanaanza tu ku treat poa nikana kugana na favor si madem peke yake as in tumi na kuga too good with people mm. so <coughs> so madem sasa hapo ndio alikuja kan introduce akaniambia what you do you create a profile ya venye utakuwa una make this men wani locate na wakuje wani fuck na they pay me and then hapo ndio unapata share yako na mimi nachukua share yangu na tuna split bills au na lipa keja nusu na mimi nalipa keja nu keja nusu hiyo hotel room per day kwa gatu 50 so 250 yeye akitoa anchoni na mimi nitoe so since pussy ni yake mi tu ni commission napata unaona ni fair akaniambia sometimes hata atakuwa anabaya food because alikuwa na look forward to kwa relationship pamoja unaona but sami hata nishato wakili huko so mimi saizi na muonaza as a business partner unaona yeye wewe uze pussy mimi nipate commission yangu, wewe upate yako, na life iendelee. Ikifika time yakwenda dunda, tuende. Ikifika time yakwenda shopping, we go. Ikifika time yenye tusaki kuitisha food kwa hoteli, since unajua hoteli mingi zina kuanga na nini? Na food, unaweza itisha, unapiga tu simu hapo hivyo kwa kuna zile simu za za hoteli. Unapiga hapo unitisha food na kama. So sasa zile tutaki kuitisha food kwa hoteli, tunaenda nje. <coughs> so tukaishi hivyo for like two weeks. Na mimi nikachat na nikaanza ku make my own money na life ka get normal na nikaanza kukuwa happy mm. so vile life ile endelea life ikaendelea akaniambia endo tafute mdem endo tutafute mdem mdem tu yote tum recruit kwa issue guli uanze pia ku kuuza pusi yake na since tuko na room mbili uanze kuuza pusi yake tuna una make money na mimi na bado una make money na ye So na sasa huyu mdema ananipenda. So anatafuta unajua mdema akipenda chali au mtakia au mtakia mazuri. Unaona? Ara anybody hata si machali tukipenda madem tunawatakia ga mazuri hata tunaweza kupatia almost half of what we have, si ndio? So in a recipro- in a, in, a, in, a, in a go the other way around, si ndio? Pia madem akipenda chali wanataka kumpa everything almost. Hata kama si everything. So ndio hapo akaniambia nitafute mdem na mimi nikatafuta mdem na nikamleta umdem vile ni umleta pia tunaanza kupiga shughuli na e, e, anaanza anaanza kupiga hii shughuli lakini sasa vile umdem anaanza anaanza kupiga hii shughuli conscience yangu inaanza kuniambia this is not the right way to make money this is not right unaona if you serve purpose yako kwa hii life ufai kuishi hivi ufai ku make money out of this unaona hizo za na fight na conscience zangu unaona zinaniambia manze watu wanajiuza ndio wewe umeka living unaona hizo za niko like hey manze i'm not that cold see this stand this kind of life but sasa si kuna option tuliendelea kuishi hivyo tukaendelea kuishi hivyo so as time as when the time ili pass ika happen um dem siku moja ameenda out call oh mwenye sasa main mwenye sasa eh hey, mwenye nyumba ameenda out call So kwenda out call ikakuwa tumebaki na huyu mwingine. So mimi zile zangu za za conscience zangu zina nembe this is not the right way to make money. Mm. So ika ika happen kukuwa nimekata maji. Eh nikakata maji and nilikuwa kind of drunk. Nikamwambia um dem since mimi ndo nilimleta usifanye biz tena. Itango biz by the. Nikamwambia usipige biz tena. Leo tupige biz. Leo tupige sherehe tukate maji, tukule poa. Eh hey, that's all. Sababu niko na jua na rudi kesho. So niko like this has to stop. Unaona hizo za unashika. Mm. So speak a bit tena. Pia yako like sawa Mr. Big Biz. Eh hey, so si hapo ndo tulikataga maji na tuka happen. So hapo ndo tuli happening na ikako umde mama ni bamba. Eh hey, na tukaanza kani kama tuko na thing chini ya maji. So huyu the moment alijua akuwa na otherwise but kutufukuza eh akatuchuja kwa hiyo keja akatrushia vitu zetu nje eh sina kujambia kijama alikuwa mcrazy 
but she was the nicest person I ever met at that time. So all this while kuna 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 history yenye kuna history yenye siko nimekwambia. Umde mwangu mwenye nilihabu kwa cha chuo, jua ilipata ball na tukaishi na hiyo life ya marriage tukiwa wa young. Pia alikamkatara. Unaona? Mm. Ma tulifanya ma, ma nini? Ma, ma, ma mipango pia akakam. So when she came tukaendelea kama couples but but ile kitu nyingine za sema eh young couples i think distance haikuagi haikuagi fit now because distance ili to affect big time because um dem vile nilimwacha Kenya things as it remain as i left unaona i meet some other people unaona akafanya some things zenye aziku ni bamba the moment zile nifikia but at that time as you as you can imagine I mean like too far as well come like come Qatar I mean like ah that's the innocent person I left back home to kind of since she wasn't innocent whatever she did after nilimwacha Kenya she did it again so it lead to our breakup na kachukua na chali mwingine so no not all this while nikipatana na home dem tukishi kwa hotel room yake eh she wasn't there so when you are this distant you are this distant na um dem mwenye amenipatia amepatia life yangu another another shot unaona but unashindwa ku nashindwa ku nashindwa ku give a try because i'm broken unaona niko zile za manze women i don't want to, to have anything to do with women hizo za nime jam eh you story but as in i was so much disappointed Eh yeah. so since then as in since kutoka hapo so mi umdem tukafukuzwa na yeye tumetoka kwa kwa hotel ya umdem tumeenda na yeye so all this while ule mwenye alikuwa mtu wangu mwenye tulikuwa tume mwenye edit ni chachuo juu yake ashaenda amechukuliwa na chali mwingine wa chali mwingine amekuja amemdump sijui ni karma ama what happened wa chali ile happened amemdump and then she dumped me because of him so him dumped ha unaona sijui sijui life inakuwa hivyo maybe life inakuwa hivyo maybe kwa ngivyo but it happen hivyo so chalili kuja akamwacha mdem tena kaba stranded since mali penya alikuwa na work job ilikuwa imeshasimama imeshasimama so uchalili alikuwa gana provide ya so the moment chalili mdump na aka fly out of the country akaenda sijui ni Kenya mali enda wapi mdem alibaki solo stranded so mdem to catch up na ye, later on after chale memwacha since i was still in love nuna tumetoka na ye mbali si amini na iliacha chuo juu yake to have mto ina ye, ye. tukafanya plans akakam kataru unaona unaona hizo za, za it, it was like a dream come true unaona eh unaona abu abu try to imagine mtu mmeacha chuo na ye, ye. mmepata mto hii mme umefly out ame amekufuata ame and then mme come miachana so as in inaweza ku hurt sana <coughs> so stuliachana pia eh sun relate akarudi Kenya all this while akona fanya job so pia mimi sikuwa na expecta kuona any money so before akam ku fly back i had some money i gave it to her she had some best pia akamsaidia akalipa ndege akakam back home <coughs> ni juni nilikuwa nampenda bado at that time unaona love iko imeisha kabisa hata kama ali moving on unaona because wale move on wakaanza ku post ma picha na uchali na every time nilikuwa naingia online naona picha zao manze hati yangu ilikuwa ina break into pieces shit that was fucked up ha ah, but ni life ama so mimi tuko na umde mwingine tumefukuzwa kwa hiyo room <laughs> Sasa na mimi juni mejam tukachukua keja kwa the same hotel. Mm-hmm. Unaona? So yeye yako 14th floor si tumechukua 15th floor tuko juu yake. So usiku tunasikia kigonga gonga huko juu, maumbo nyinyi mashetani. Sijui mmechukua na huko sijui nini nini mtaachana sijui nini nini. Eh amejangori. So tunasikia kigonga gonga huko hivi chini tunasikia kuku kuku kuku. 
ametukana na ametukana <laughs> akajama kajam tukaishi kwa hiyo hotel for two days aka move out akaenda kwa hotel nyingine mm akatoka she was so much disappointed with me unaona amenisaidia amenitoa kwa vumbi nilikuja kwake na matuta sasa nimemea pembe nimemtoka naye kazidi so after alizidi mimi nikabaki mimi nikabaki ni feel guilty but since siko siko nimemwambia siko nimempromise siko nimemwambia nampenda atuko tuna kiss atuko tuna fuck so mimi sikuona mo anything unaona but yeye alikuwa anasema alikuwa ananipa time since kuna mtu alikuwa amemgusia story yangu na wewe ex wangu vile tulitoa na Kenya tukakamkwacha ni ya Qatar so alikuwa ananipa time ni hill kumbe kunipa time ni hill na mimi nimeanza nimeanza kuto nini nimeanza ku nimeanza nime, eh nimeanza nimeanza kufuck mdomo mwingine so si from there sasa umdem mwenye umdem tume move out na yeye tumeenda tumeshaanza hadi ku develop feelings na yeye but bado anauza pussy wa wow, ilikuwa fucked up nampenda lakini bado anauza pussy nampenda tunafuck lakini client akikam mimi natoka nje client anamfuck shit hii <laughs> fuck hii <laughs> wi hii <laughs> Yaani yani nilikuwa na jihad daily. Mm. Ilikuwa ngama heartbreak za kila saa. Because aka kadem nilikuwa na kafili, nilikuwa na kapenda, kalikuwa tu kama babes, kafiti, ka polite, kama tulia. Alafu siko idiot as in type yake, alikuwa ga, ilikuwa gani kama game changer. Unaona? Because mimi nimsemwe nyenye nilikuwa na gana maslay queen, madem mayela, makeki. But sasa yeye ni kama ka kienyeji, ka design tu hivi kama tulia, unaona? Eh. <coughs> So So as in adiwa leo so they get over it as in atim dem nilikuwa natambua ana anafakiwa nikiwa hapo nje narudi kwa hiyo keja tunatulia nikisija kumfaka na mfuck tena msee mwingine akikam mimi hadi ndio kwanza na chat na yadi akam hadi mimi na muonyesha picha ya msee mwenyana kam unaona because machali wengi hapo Qatar sasa hizi ni machata wana chat ya madem Mademo ana kemboi. Mademo anaenda kwa kampu, mdema ama mdema anaenda kwa kwa keja kama mboch, ana na hizo na hiyo job, mshandeni kidogo. And then hapo nje ma best wanapeana pia pressure. Wewe ni mboch, unapata golf once Friday. Na hiyo Friday unapewa tu ofia kwenda kutuma do. Nadi. Na hiyo Friday ofia kwenda late, unafaa maximum saa saa nusu 5 umerudi kwa keja. Kwa kampuni pia hivyo mademo wana wana freedom as much so akipata na madem wenyewe amekemboi wanaishi hapa nje unaona madem wanaishi fiti ama madem wanauza wanauza ikus wakiuza ikus mdema kona ganji ya, ya kupiga sherehe kona ganji ya kupiga luku ile ganji mdema anatoma Kenya ni kibao because most of those women wenye nilikuwa nachatia wengine wale kama wakabai mashamba wengine sasa hizi ni landowners they have cars on a live large just because waliuza ikus unaona so yule kuna pia madem wenye wako kwa makeja mamboch pia pressure madem wenye wako kwa kampuni pia pressure so so unakuja unapata unakuja unapata unakuja unapata design design makemboi wanaongezeka wanaongezeka na rate kubwa sana unashika wanaongezeka na rate kubwa kama venye nilipata huyu after ule alinituma nikatafute madem nilikam nikapata wengine so I used to have this one which was mine and then I had others. Nikakam nikagatha madem wengine kama wa sita but walikuwa wanaishi in a different location. Eh hey, walikuwa wanaishi in a different location yenye inaitwa na huko na huko Alwakra kuna place inaitwa Alwakra Qatar. So walikuwa na stay away kidogo. So nilikuwa na wachatia from a distance and then you see you chat kama size ni, ni post picha zako. Niseme niseme na uza ikusi yako. Unaona tutapata clients from all over because tutapata makalans wengine wako macha wengine wako kan wako kanairo wengine wako nax wengine yani wako tu olopo wengine meru so mali penye kuna kuna high concentration ni mali kama nax so hiyo alwakra ilikuwa mali kama nax na no, nax kuna watu wengi so ama demo kiwa hiyo alwakra pia bizu ko ilikuwa juu so nilikuwa na make bado eh nilikuwa na make do mingi unaona no, a day nilikuwa na make eh, 300k to half m a day a day you can imagine 
and that's a lot so ndio eh ama dem walikuwa wanauza pusi walikuwa wanauza ass like ass ilikuwa na doku liko pusi napata ass shot moja ni tao lakini pusi shot moja ni so mbili tu chwani so tatu so ine punch depending na vile mdem anakaa kama mdem ni ayela keki the more kama mdem ni katikati hapo pia the pay na kuwa napelekana na vile unakaa izile za kizuri cha jiuza kibaya cha e, kibaya kikanyaje kubwa kubwa hizo so ama dem pia walikuwa gaivo kuna wale wana nimekia mo kuna wale wana make kiasi so even kendelea kuishi even kendelea kuishi hivyo since prostitution ilikuwa gabado illegal in Qatar ama dem bado walikuwa na bambo unaona so walikuwa na bambo sisi tukiwa kwa hiyo hoteli bado bado sometimes unapata umechat karao kabla so biz biz since siwe peke yako unaifanya tuko tunafanya tukiwa wengi tuko tumetengeneza group so kabla chalia pale location ya, ya pali mdema hako hiyo picha yake ilikuwa inarusha kwa group kirusha kwa group kuna wale wenye wanajua masanse wa huko so obviously kuna mwenye tu ata identify hii sura aseme huyu ni sanse so unapata ushatu mia mse picha ushatu mia unapata kwa group kuna wenye walikuwa offline unaona sasa nyi wote mna make do so wengine hata wayuko kwa kwa group ati wana chat wengine walienda dunda wengine wamelala wengine walikata maji wengine wanakatana yani watu tu wanaishi life yao so unapata kila saa nyi wote mlikuwa kwa group so unapata mwenye anajua sanse ya yuko online na usha chat sanse usha mpe location na usha mpe hadi picha mdem kumbe sanse yako kwa njia ana cam ndio ule na yeye anaamka na njia kwa group anasema huyu ni sanse sasa ni mali penye mko mwenze kutoka mbio kama mko kwa hoteli ni kwanza kutoka mbio mkimbia kwa lift na kwa hoteli mko na suitcase zenyu mko na nguo zenyu mko na everything labda mko mmesettle hadi kwa hiyo kwa hiyo hoteli mmekap zenyu kwa safe because kila hotel room iko na safe you guys mko na money mko na matenje za bikali mko na mambling because mna make money mko na asset sasa zile sanse amefika sometimes hadi utachungulia hivi jumnaishi kwa kwa hoteli ni refu ni magorofa refu refu zingine hadi utachungulia hivi umeona ndio ule uko chini ya shafika na ameingia kwa building na ni sanse una jo sanse kiwashika na prostitution ni hiyo demo na pelekwa deportation home so uwezi make any mistake because if you make any mistake that's the end of you so tulikuwa ga so strict so hadi sanse kikam tulikuwa tuna havadi sometimes kukombo anga ma hotel room zenye ni first floor ndio mkibasti wa stranded muruki kwa dirisha uruki kutoka first floor hadi chini sometimes so ikafika 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 at a point niko zile za ika ikafika at a point niko zile za niko zile za kando na kuuza madem wacha ni ni try ku invest na vitu zingine so nikaanza kuuza te hii so watu wenye wanawaka kwa hizo makampuni kama kwenye nilikuwa nafanya kazi kule kwa kukata kata nyasi kule kwa makuku Hatu nyo nafanya kazi huko since it's uh, Arab countries and those people are Muslims wako so strict mambo ya tei ya wananga mambo ya madem hakuna so unapata mimi niko na madem na niko na tei so those they have to come huko kutoka mashambani wakuje tao wanitafute ndio niwape madem na niwapatie nini na tei so these things are not for free so hatu walikuwa hatu walikuwa walikuwa pia wana come sometimes na wauzi ate hii so kama siuzi madem na uzate hii na mamzinga niko na mamzinga mabia bla 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 hivyo so mtaki kama kate maji apate mdema hapo inakuwa better yeah so ikaendelea kama hali hadi ikakuwa ikakuwa sasa mimi hadi sasa sitaki hadi kunini kuishi kwa hoteli weekdays nataka nikomboe keja yangu yenye ndakuwa na stay hapo kwa hoteli kukiwa naoma na hepi yako wangu kwa hoteli kukiwa na noma na hepi yako wangu so no hiyo time kwa hoteli kukiwa na noma nilikuwa na hepa naenda kauko nje kwa taksi taksi nalipa taksi na shinde kizunguka hadi sasa zile ngori tatulia nipate hoteli nyingine niingie so no hiyo ni riski because unaweza pata labda wa Alam hoteli zote labda mko in surveillance mnatafutwa so i wanted a place yenye inaweza kuwa ni kama hide out so sin current keja current keja sasa hapo ndio busy ilikuwa inafanyikia saa zingine so pia kwa keja pia ni mbaya juu so unaona no, kwa keja una get too comfortable unaanza kubai mavitu ma mingi keja ina una juu unaje fanya keja inakuanga so hadi masanse wakikam uko unapata ume lose a lot because ukihepa unaacha your whole house iko na vitu mpya nguo hizo everything uko una lose vitu mbaya sana 
Hadi unapata uko menua vitu za za kuleta Kenya kama unapata umenua TV iko kwa box unatafuta vile ita ita ita, ita exportiwa ye. <coughs> So hivyo hivyo ndio hivyo ndio hivyo ndio ilikuwa happen until until sasa ikafika ikafika to a point where by Charlie flani best yangu akakamkustai na mimi alikuwa best yangu amekamkustai na mimi imeanza kukuwa ni imeanza kukuwa sasa ni mimi na ye. sasa si mimi na kale kadem kangu imeanza sasa kuwa ni mimi na ye. kale kadem kangu kashani bo sisi tikame ni bo sio nadi uwezi shindaga na mtu mmoja unaona nje kwa nje kwa unaweza shindanga na mtu mmoja hata tunge have to move out of our houses tungeishi na wazazi wetu so huyo tulikuwa tushazoeana na ye. so me had had to to look to, to, to be with this guy mwenye sasa tulikuwa tunapiga ngana ile lap so uche lika kam itakamko happen pia yeye alikuwa into some shit alikuwa anauza gama ngoi mangoi zilikuwa zina, zina toka Nigeria zinatumwa Qatar na DHL kufika DHL kuna watu wenye wako kwa airport wanazichukua kutoka kwa airport zinapenda kwa dereva taxi dereva taxi anaenda kwa kichaka kwa msitu anaenda anazika chini mahali so uche lile alikuwa anaenda kwa msitu anazizikua anakaa mnazo zinaenda busy Yeah so since me nilikuwa napenda weed sikuwa na give a fuck about ye yeah, business yake as long as ye yeah, weed tunavuta mimi sina shida na, na hii mambo mengine akisikia atauzia atauzia weed kwangu mimi don't care kama tutakuja kushikwa nayo tupeleko jela but nilikuwa naogopa since uko masanse walikuwa strict na tuko tumeshingi kuhepa since one mistake umekumbuka fanya one mistake unajipata Kenya so mi mimi nikaendelea kuuza tea na kuendelea kuuza madem and then uchali na yeye anauzia weed kwangu so uchali ikafika time uchali akakama sijui nini ile happening kasi uchali yako Kenya so mimi sikujua nini ime happen but siku moja tukienda as in ikakuwa ikakuwa since alikuwa ga so close to me ile weed kikam sometimes ulikuwa unapata simu yake imezima since uchali alikuwa ga disorganized sana So napata simu yake sometimes imezima so sometimes anatumia simu yangu kuchat na ule msemo wa Nigeria ule msemo wa Nigeria na mwambia bidi imefika na iko location fulani <coughs> na nampin location juu mwenye alikuwa anaenda kuzika hiyo weed akizika hiyo weed lazima alikuwa akiwa hapo anatuma location mali penye weed iko unaona na kuna venye hiyo area ilikuwa alikuwa anaeka kamawe so ungefika mali penye weed ilikuwa wao ndio walikuwa wanajua venye walikuwa wanaipata so so after after which ali amesha amesha kam kenya for, for after after kitu kama 3 weeks message kinje kwa tenje yangu inasemaje we did coloke we did collocation kuangalia naona ni yule mjama mnaijua ule wa uko na uko uko nigeria unaona so anasema we did collocation na mimi sasa ni hizo after 3 weeks sijaivu ta weed so niko hizo za niko na rosto nataka kuchoma kaendea nikaendea So after niliendea sikaenda nikaizikuwa na nikaibeba nika so hiyo ilikuwa ga KG nikakaa nayo okay nikaenda nikaenda nikaeka kwa keja yangu kuweka kwa keja yangu kulikuwa na na ama client wenye walikuwa wanamkutanga kwangu unaona so ama client wakakamu wakaniambiaje waka, waka ule chalia tumuoni unaona na tujuma lipo nyetu tutamtoa na hapa ndio tulikuwa tunajua tunampata sometimes ako wapi amemia kwa Kenya wa sasa jua kwa Kenya na mzigo kuna mzigo nikamwambia mimi niko na mzigo since akiwa uzia nilikuwa gapo niko na venye alikuwa anawapimia na ni maganji eh yeah. so mimi niko anawapimia na nikawa uzia na nikaanza hadi kuzia mabeste wa Kenya nikaanza hadi kuzia watu so ikafika mahali hadi tulikuwa tuna tulikuwa tuna nini tulikuwa hadi tunapiga sherehe na hiyo weed sometimes as in sasa unaona mimi hadi si uko kwa busy ya weed mimi niko kwa busy ya kuuza madem na tea So ingine ni extra money and I have so much money since I didn't want to buy madinga I want to buy mumbling I want to buy anything that I want Siku moja Siku moja Siku moja out on cleaning his room una room ziko zina clean ngo na hotel wezi shika hotel na wende una clean room au nilikuwa na clean so mmoja wake clean akakotanga hizo weed kazi pele kwa reception akasema watu wako na weed so kusema watu wako na weed 
mean I mean uzuri sijui nini ilikuwa imehappen tukakuwa tumesha move out kwa hiyo hoteli but kwa move kwa hiyo hoteli since wale wale makilina kulikuwa na mmoja best yangu best yangu akaniambia hata jana mlikuwa mnatafutwa hata fadhali hivyo mli move out fadhali hivyo mli check out lakini sisi tulikuwa tumecheck out juu tulikuwa tumetek sanse na sanse alikuwa na kambizo wapi kwa hiyo hotel room so kuna kuna tumetek sanse na alikuwa na kambizo so tukahavtu tuka kucheck out but in the process of kucheck out kumbe tulikuwa tusha set watu tulikuwa na weed na masanse waka kama na wakatuko wakatukosa yeah so me so sisi si juu mimi hata stambui mimi naendelea na life yangu huko nje kumbe mwenye alikuwa amecheck in kwa hiyo hotel room na hiyo id number na kila kitu ni nani so mimi nimeshajulikana nilikuwa na weed obviously so wana nitafuta but wani party ulikuja kupatikana tu so life inaendelea nime nime nimekuja nimejulikana tena bado mimi ndio nauza nauza madem mimi ndio na kuna vile inaitangwa wewe kama chata mwenye unauza madem like ni kama niko na brother yangu na shika of which is very illegal since you it's a muslim country na wanataka gimambo kama hizo 